A week ago, tragedy hit the Douglas County Sheriff's Department. A deputy, Zach Parrish, was shot and killed while investigating a disturbance at an apartment complex. On Friday, first responders and others lined the streets to honor Deputy Parrish before his funeral. The community continues to come together for the deputy and his family. Denver police, fire, paramedics and DIA employees will trade their uniforms for hockey jerseys. Joel Hillen shows us they'll face off on a small rink for a big cause. In the wake of the tragic New Year's Eve shooting death of Douglas County Sheriff's Deputy Zach Parrish, the law enforcement community wanted to show the Parrish family they are with them. I think you'll find the entire community comes together. We all circle the wagons, and not just the law enforcement community, but, but the public. So Monday morning at 11 o'clock, the puck will drop on a pond-style hockey tournament to raise money for the family. Denver police against Denver fire, Denver paramedics against DIA employees, each winner advancing to a championship match against the other. It's fun just kind of skating around on it, but throw a puck and some uh, sticks on there. Should be a good time. Andrew Shadle brought his family to skate at the rink of the airport. He loves the idea of this kind of tribute to the Parrish family. Being part of a community that cares this much about its civil servants, it really means a lot. I think it's the kind of thing living here that really draws people in and really you know, keeps people here because people care. It's not just a collection of strangers. It's fantastic. The Broncos, Rockies, and Avs quickly joined other organizations in sponsoring this event. The community coming together for a Colorado family in pain. They're not alone. They'll never be alone. They'll always have their Blue Lies family behind them supporting them. In Denver, Joel Hillen covering Colorado first. For more details on that hockey tournament, go to CBSDenver.com, and there is also a link to the GoFundMe set up for the Parrish family.